Local leaders and community members gathered in Sioux Falls today to celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Tonight we show you how King's mission still resonates today with people of all ages. Whereas Dr. King's legacy continues to encourage us to unite and work together to overcome challenges in our community. Sioux Falls Mayor Paul Tenhagen proclaimed today Martin Luther King Jr. Day in Sioux Falls and encouraged mentorship and serving the community. And so that to me is a very important message of how we're getting involved in making our communities better. Julian Bodwan, the executive director of the South Dakota African American History Museum, says people tend to focus on Dr. King's dream. Today, Bodwan spoke about King's service and what the minister and activist wanted for communities. One particular challenge that was offered by Dr. King was to seek positions even when we felt outcasted. Uh, the position should be ones to benefit the community first and not self first. He was not a self-driven individual. Bodwan shared the microphone with his 11-year-old daughter, Jemiah. I think that you should be assertive with your words and actions. Jemiah says her father is an inspiration to her. I want to be like him when I grow up. To be able to own my own business, have children, have someone beautiful in my life and still be able to shape the world how I think would be better. She's already off to a good start. And the celebration was held in the city center next to the Martin Luther King Jr. sculpture in Van Epps Park. Ten Haken encouraged people to visit the statue after the presentation, take pictures and post them on social media. With Martin Luther King Jr. Day today, we are taking a look back at an interview with Dr. King here at the Kelloland Studios in 1961. Doug Hill asked the civil rights leader several questions. The 12 minute long interview focused on how the pursuit of nonviolence would be the driving force behind the civil rights movement. We dug into our archives to find that interview and here's a part of it. First of all, Dr. King, let me welcome you to uh, Sioux Falls, and would you tell us the purpose of your visit? Yes, thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here, and I'm here to make a speech uh, for the Knife and Fork Club. And it's certainly a real pleasure to be in this section of the country. It's my first time here. You can find the full interview, which will be linked to this story, on Kelloland.com. Time to check in with Jay. Kind of a, a, a nasty day for some people, just kind of a dreary day for others. Yeah, we. Uh